What lens inside our eye is flexible. As focus from distance to near objects, the muscles inside the eye contract and relax to change the shape and focusing power of the lens. Usually beginning in our 40s, the lens becomes less flexible, starts losing its ability to change its shape. As it really becomes more difficult to see at all distances, we eventually become dependent on reading glasses for near vision. Therefore, this condition is called esbiopia. They eventually restore a full range of vision for patients who are experiencing presbyopia, a laser vision correction technique called monovision. Involves having one eye corrected for distance vision, corrected for near vision. Just to seeing two images that are corrected to focus at different distances by suppressing or ignoring the image it does not want to see. But in monovision technique, there is often a blurred zone with compromised vision in the intermediate range between distance and near, which can make it difficult for some people to tolerate the procedure. Our vision technique using the Zeiss MIL-80 Eximer laser system is now available and called laser blended vision. It is principles of refined traditional monovision in combination with a wavefront-based corneal shape optimization that actually eliminates this blurry intermediate zone. With blended vision, one eye is primarily corrected for clear distance vision, leaving only slightly blurred for near vision, while the eye is corrected with only a slight shift towards near vision. This is depth of field within each eye and intermediate region where the range of clear vision overlaps, called the blend zone. Blended zone of vision means patients will have less disparity between the two eyes in contrast to what they would have had with the traditional monovision technique. Compression is required by the brain, and laser blended vision is much more tolerated by most patients. Traditional monovision was only tolerated by approximately 60% of patients. Wider blended vision with the Zeiss MEL-80 Eximer laser system found to be tolerated by approximately 97% of patients.